We're here with Andres Schierenbeck, President and CEO of Siemens Building Automation. Thanks so much for your time. I want to talk to you today a little bit about the smart grid. Uh, it's an advancing technology, especially here in the United States, and I'd like to know what Siemens is doing to try to become a player in this emerging market. Mm -hmm. Well, you're completely right. The smart grid is a very advanced technology, and we have a highly interest in that from Siemens' point of view. Because I think we have everything in, in our hands. A smart grid is not only about uh, smart generation, smart transportation and smart metering. It's as well about smart consumption and smart, uh, smart buildings. Because uh, what is a smart grid doing? There are a lot of definitions around in this, in this world. Doing something on medium wattage level, the internet of the electrical network and all that stuff. And partially that's, that's, that's right. In former times we have uh, produced what we have consumed. So we just looked out of the consumers, made a, made a guess what could be the consumption, and then we produced it. This will not work in the future. In the future, we have volatile renewable energy uh, fueled by water and wind, which can stop in a second. Uh, maybe e-cars running around. Uh, I think we have to change the, the whole equation. Now you have to consume what you're generating exactly at this moment, because you cannot store energy in a network. And uh, I think here every, everything has to play its role. Smart generation, smart transportation, smart metering and smart consumption. And Siemens is excellently positioned in that because we have from generation, transportation, metering and smart consumption on industry side and on building side everything in, in, in our portfolio. Talk to us a little bit about smart metering. What are the solutions that S Siemens has for smart meter metering and how do you roll that out to your markets? Well, smart metering is, is not uh, a key enabling in technology, I would say. It's, uh, it's needed as an interface between consumption and the network. But uh, you know how it is. Uh, the meter industry is normally uh, yeah, a little bit uh, influenced from the utilities itself. If you want to buy electricity, uh, you've got no choice. The meter is coming from the utility. Sure. You have the choice to have electricity or no electricity, which comes from the meter. But the role of electric meter shouldn't be underestimated. You need transparency in your consumption. You need an interface to tell the consumption part when to generate, uh, when to use more or less energy. And from this point of view, to aggregate these loads, we have the right solutions. To balance the loads of the other end of the meter, we have solutions there. Talk to us about what the biggest value proposition or growth opportunity within the smart in meter industry or smart grid industry that you guys see is is really the place to focus most of your resources and attention on? Well, there are definitely different value pockets. Uh, I'm, I'm a believer that on the smart consumption side there is the biggest potential to drive energy efficiency and uh, flexibility because if you touch that in the buildings and the consumers you can make a big difference. Just uh, to give you a few figures, if you would cut down 5% peak load it would save the US economy $3 billion a year and the uh, investment on that part on the consumption side is not very big. But the smart grid, smart consumption needs investment in smart metering as well, because without communication it doesn't work. And uh, you need uh, as well some changes in the network and the planning network and integration of renewables. Because what you will see as well is if you see more zero net energy buildings or more generation in a distributed way, the energy flow will just going from the consumption side to the transportation side. And the networks are not equipped for that. So I think the investment potential is in all three areas huge and uh, the value pockets are there and it's not only a field for Siemens. For smart consumption, do you really mean in, as it relates to building automation or energy management as the, as the key driver for that? Uh, yes, I think so. Because if buildings are going from a pure consumer to a generator as well, you have on-site generation and combined generations and solar and wind for instance, or e-car loading, uh, you would have to put more intelligence into the consumer side. You have, to, you have the chance to store energy in some buildings, for instance. If you have a lot of wind energy in the system, what should you do with that? You have to use it now, then heat up some water stored in the building hall. The biggest change, uh, challenge in Europe, for instance, is the integration of renewables. Last year on the German stock exchange of energy, 15% of the wind energy couldn't be sold. Wow. They were switched off just because the consumption part is too unflexible. So how do you, I mean, is that more of a software play to make sure that when that energy is going into the grid that it's actually being delivered to someone that's ultimately going to use it? Um, I think it's, it's a multi-level problem. You need communication, first of all, that you can tell the consumers to doing that. Sure. 
And um, nobody on the consumption side has really a concept of time value of electricity or electrical energy. You just have a flat rate at the moment. And if you have a flat rate, there is no business case to investing in, in any infrastructure to make it flexible. So I think it has to come in hand in hand. Energy has to be come on a flexible tariff. There should be a time value of, uh, of electrical energy. And then, of course, you will see the investment very easily fall in line to just do these things. So let's say you have a time machine and we go five to ten years into the future. Where do you see Siemens playing in the smart grid industry? Well, you know, I would guess that in, um, in 15, 20 years you will find Siemens all over the place. Uh, on our traditional fields like uh, generation and transportation, uh, doing wind energy generation, doing solar concentrated zone, doing the transportation of that, doing um, parts of the smart metering to have put the intelligence in the network and playing a big role on the consumption side as well. Integration of e-cars, e charging them, decharging them, making the buildings flexible and intelligent. All right, final question, and this is more of a personal question than about the company. I'm really curious to know why you do what you do. Well, I'm an electrical engineer. I've worked for, for quite a lot on the power transmission and distribution sector. And uh, I came to the building industry five years ago, and I was thrilled about the potential of this there. Buildings are much more complex than I ever thought. As a process to drive a building to make it intelligent, flexible, and to make it comfortable in the same way, it's a huge technological challenge. And as an engineer, I just like it. As a business potential, it's just the cherry on the cake.